everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my seven and eight week pregnancy update. So I'm in this sort of weird stage at the moment where I feel like this is going really quickly but then at the same time I feel like it's dragging so much because at the point I'm at now, I'm actually eight weeks and three days. And it's a weird one because I change over on a Tuesday. I kind of feel like it's Friday today. Once I get through the weekend, I feel like I'm already another week further along. It's just, it's hectic. And because this is my third baby, I've already got two keeping me very busy and I just sort of don't even have time to think about being pregnant at the moment, apart from the fact that obviously I've got symptoms that are controlling my life at the moment so while I'm on that topic let's talk about symptoms <laughs> oh my goodness I feel absolutely horrendous and right now hand on heart this is the first time that I have put proper makeup on and got dressed in a proper outfit for I would say about the past week maybe about no I'd say about nine or ten days which is really bad but in my defense it is the summer holidays at the moment so my little boy bill who's five is off school and then daisy um daisy's always with me day to day anyway because she's only 15 months old but it's one of those where like they don't care what i look like and we've been in for most of the time it's actually really blue sky and sunny at the moment um but we've been in because it's been raining so we've been doing like arts and crafts and baking and doing like lego and all that those sorts of things so I have had a really really good excuse to sort of slob out but I have been so nauseous and I am one of those people that is literally nauseous from the very second she wakes up to the very moment she goes to bed and I don't get any respite at all throughout the day there are no there are no points in my day where I feel okay unless I really really distract myself so in a way having the kids as company has been really really nice I don't know if you can tell from the way I'm speaking as well, but I'm very nasal today because I have a cold as well, like a summer cold, and the whole family's had it, which is great. And I have struggled with that as well because at the moment, like, obviously I'm pregnant, so I can't really take much for it. I take paracetamol, but it's not really what I need. I'm very congested and struggling in that sense. So the one thing that I have been loving is just vapor rub, and I've actually just been putting this on my forehead, believe it or not, to relieve my sinuses and a little bit on my chest because otherwise I just feel really uncomfortable at night and I seem to be getting sinus related headaches which are then making me feel more queasy so it's just it's not fun is it the first trimester at all but as things go at least I'm managing at least I'm coping well I'm still able to get a little bits of work done but I'm finding it really really hard not telling all of you because honestly I miss you I feel like I'm personally keeping a massive part of myself a secret so I don't feel like I can have proper conversations with anyone because the people are like oh how are you I just want to go sick so so sick but I can't um so I'm finding that quite hard and I've got a limited amount of people to talk to and I also feel like with your third like I don't know l let me know in the comments down below if you found this but with your first baby everyone's like oh my god I'm so excited I can't believe it I'm so pleased for you when you do what do you think you're having you're gonna find out your second people are like oh congratulations I really really hope it's a boy if you've already got a girl or I really really hope it's a girl if you've already got a boy and then everyone's like oh a sibling for your your little one how nice and then with your third a lot of people I think are like she's pregnant again <laughs> and it's, I just think it's like I feel like the more children you have the kind of like less a reaction people give you so it's a weird one because I I'm obviously I'm feeling a lot better as the last few weeks have passed about where I am like mentally with it because it was obviously quite a shock but I am feeling excited I am feeling giddy I am like you know really looking forward to telling you all and having that 12 week scan and just being out there like not holding my tummy in or not hiding my tummy into like bits of clothing because i walk around the village at the moment 
I know loads of mums from school, I know loads of people just be, because I've lived here pretty much all my life and especially when you spend a lot of time here during the day I feel like I know everyone like I can't go into a shop or a cafe or anywhere and not know someone it's just it's a very small town I feel like Belle from Pete and the Beast it's great but then not when you're trying to hide a pregnancy um but yeah it's just I just really I really really want to get it out there um other symptoms that I've been having are gas I feel like I'm constantly bloated and my digestive system is crazy at the moment and I'm going to be really honest with you because what's the point in sugarcoating it? I either, I go one way or the other when it comes to toilet times at the moment. I'm either like that diarrhea kind of thing which is not nice or I get constipated and it it's so annoying because I just... I just don't feel great in my tummy overall. I'm like not fancying anything to eat or anything to drink most of the time. Drinking I'm finding so difficult. I'm so thirsty at the moment but every time I drink I gag a little bit and that's actually quite, it's like torture. So I've been drinking, well I've been drinking, I've been sucking on like ice pops a lot just to sort of get some water in and anything I do drink has to be ice cold because it's sort of the only way I can stomach it. I've really gone off overly sweet things in terms of drinks as well so I can't wait to be able to just down a pint of like water again and just do it easily. Um, in terms of cravings, I think I've mentioned this in a past video but I'm almost certain that this baby is a little boy because I am craving the exact same things that I craved with Bill at this stage rather than what I crave with Daisy. With Daisy I struggle to eat certain things a lot more whereas with this baby and with Bill I felt like I had strict aversions and I had strict cravings and then there were still quite a lot of things in the middle that I could just eat and put up with um, and I've been really liking like these like I think they're by Matheson's or something like that like tinned meatballs and spaghetti which is gross I wouldn't normally eat it but I'm loving it I'm loving cheese I'm loving bread anything beige basically I'm like oh yeah give it me I'll take that take beige I am not in the mood for broccoli whatsoever in fact talking about it is making me a little bit queasy so we're going to move on I'm not a fan of chicken in certain forms like chunks of chicken you can see what it's doing oh my god I just I can't I can't go there okay <laughs> but um other than that I'm, I'm doing okay it's just I just can't wait to feel more like my normal self. I've been very tired as well and I think it shows. <laughs> um, but on to exciting things that I really want to show you to stop this video being too long um, is that obviously in my last update I missed seven weeks because I was so so poorly that I just thought I don't even want to make a video. You don't need to see me whinging on the internet because you just don't so I felt like this but worse but yes I as I was saying <laughs> I had a scan around six and a half weeks so it was six weeks and four days uh, pregnant and we went to baby bond so it like this and booked that it's the same one where we had Daisy's gender scan so I will be booking again to have the gender scan there because they've given us a £10 voucher off our next scan which we will be using and yeah we had a scan and there is a baby in there there's only one which was a big relief because twins run in my family my mum is an identical twin and I have um, fraternal twin cousins who are boys as well and um, my grandma says that there's twins further back in her family as well so as it goes it's meant to skip a generation so that would lie with me but I've only had single twin pregnancies as far as I know so there's only one in there and we saw a heartbeat and everything is as it should so I just thought I would show you some pictures of basically what looks like a jelly bean inside a hole <laughs> so that is the first one I appreciate there's a little bit of glare um, and they all look really similar it's not like when you're like oh and I've got this other shot of their profile and like all of this these ones are upside down as you can see the baby's there and then the yolk sac is over here but everything is spot on which is really really good and I've also got a little printout here which says that I have an antiverted uterus which is normal contain contains a gestation sac with a single live fetus and um, 
the like length is 4.8 millimeters or was at the time which is like around six weeks so it's spot on um fetal heart pulsation seen both ovaries appear normal no masses cysts or free fluid seen and yeah it was really good i've um i've never had an early scan before so i knew that there was a chance that it could be an internal one but she did say that she could get a really good view of my womb through like the trans abdominal scan which is really good because i'm not like the smallest human in the world am i but that was nice because I didn't have to have it stuck up my vagina which I wasn't really wasn't really looking forward to that I'll be honest um and she I didn't realize that they did that but they did check like my ovaries and the rest of my womb just to check for like a healthy happy reproductive system and she said everything looked like really really healthy um and everything looked perfect so it was quite nice to sort of have a, a little internal checkup on me as well so I guess the only other thing to do is to show you my belly which is going to be a little bit difficult because I'm wearing dungarees so bear with me one sec while I get the old belly out so this is my tummy let me sort of pull that in with these on and I don't know about you but I feel like I'm starting to look like I'm in the early stages of pregnancy now but the nice thing about these is that I kind of like bag them out a little bit I don't you can't really tell but when things are fitted I feel like you can or at least I feel like I look like I've gained weight and I don't really like the idea of people sort of picking up on that because it's embarrassing when you've lost three stone to then go like oh yeah I'm putting it all back on again and then this is my belly with nothing on at the moment I do still have like a soft bit here from having had two children and the weight gain that I've had in the past and then weight loss again but I don't know about you but I feel like my middle area is a lot lot thicker and I feel like you can see it from the front because already I just look like I'm filling out I'm very bloated but it's also quite firm so that is my little belly but yeah that is everything i think for my seven and eight week update i'll be back doing a nine week one and hopefully i don't miss any other weeks in the future and i start to feel a little bit better i'm really putting on a show for you today because i don't want this video to be all doom and gloom um but if you are pregnant make sure you you know subscribe and let me know down in the comments below because i would love to have you along for the journey and good luck and congratulations as well if you just found out you're pregnant like and you know you might just be at the big fat positive stage or you might be a little bit more further along than me but i'd love to have some bump buddies so let me know <laughs> down in the comments because it'd be nice to have some company and yeah thank you so so much for watching and i will see you very soon bye